The construction of the ribosomal 40S and 60S subunits begins in the nucleolus through the transcription of ribosomal RNA by RNA polymerase 1. Initial transcription begins with the 5' ETS in yellow, followed by the 18S rRNA in green. These sequences attract ribosomal proteins and assembly factors, leading to the assembly of the 90S pre-ribosome, the precursor to the 40S small subunit. While the 90S is forming, the construction of the 60S subunit begins. First, ITS1 in orange emerges, followed by the 5.8S, ITS2, and 25S rRNA. The dual assembly factor RRP5, which is part of the 90S subunit, plays a key role in early pre-60S formation by recruiting the NOC1, NOC2 complex through a long N-terminal extension. Next, a series of early nucleolar assembly factors are incorporated, including foot factors in violet, which form a scaffold that organizes subsequent assembly steps. RNA cleavage at the A2 site within ITS1 separates the nascent 60S from the 90S. After another wave of assembly factor recruitment, the 5.8S rRNA has become compact, and three out of the 625S subdomains are stably folded. While in the nucleolus, the 5S RMP, composed of 5S rRNA and protein factors, is incorporated into the nascent 60S. After the folding of the remaining 325S subdomains, which is guided by a number of other pre-60S factors, the nucleolar pre-60S particle can leave the nucleolus. Entry into the nucleoplasm is accompanied by removal of the YTM1, ERB1 complex, and several other nucleolar factors from the pre-60S. Pre-60S nuclear factors can now bind to the newly vacated sites in the particle. Last one GRC3, an endonuclease, cuts at the C2 site. This allows for ITS2 degradation by exonucleases, including the exosome. The exosome and its cofactor MTR4 are recruited by the pre-60S factor NOP53. After ITS2 processing is complete, all foot factors are dislodged from the pre-60S. Next, the 5S RMP rotates into its mature position and RPF2 RRS1 dissociates. These events are triggered by the recruitment of the RIX1 complex and the RIA1 ATPase. RSA4 is removed by RIA1 and the pre-60S is left with a characteristic structure called the central protuberance. In order to transit to the cytoplasm, nuclear export machinery is recruited, including the nuclear export adapter NMD3, the general nuclear export receptor CRUM1, which is bound to RAN GTP, and additional transporter factors, including MEX67 MTR2. These factors together mediate the efficient export of the huge pre-60S particle through the nuclear pore complex. In the cytoplasm, 60S biogenesis is completed through a few last maturation steps, including the extraction of various factors including RLP24, ARX1, NMD3, and TIF6. Ribosomal UL16 is incorporated at this stage, which completes the construction of the peptidyl transferase center. Finally, the mature 60S subunit is ready to join with a 40S subunit during translation.